Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Today we have a really interesting challenge for everyone. 5 minus 2 divided by 5 minus 2. This is challenge you've ever seen, subtraction, division. So everyone learned the thing in the in the third grade or in the fourth grade. Everyone can easily solve this challenge. And right now you can easily check your school knowledge and your age. Doesn't matter right here because, for example, your adult, your your student, you're like an old people. Yeah, you can easily solve this challenge absolutely incorrect because this is a very tricky challenge and maybe someone forgot about uh, students about school knowledge right here. So this is a really great question for everyone to check our school knowledge. So let's do this right now. I will solve this challenge right here in just two minutes. So we will check our answers. And this is a really great question for everyone to check your school knowledge and to check your brain, to check your algebra skills right here. So here is our challenge. Here is our option. A, B, C, choose one option and write your option down into the comment section. Okay, so let's write our question right here. So we have right here five minus, we have right here two divided by five minus minus two here's our question i want to rewrite this question right here because i'm going to show you these really interesting thoughts just take a look closely five minus two we have right here we have five minus two five minus two right here and a lot of students might be saying okay five minus two five minus two the same expression it looks like we divide this expression by this one and as a result we have five minus two we have we have three and five minus two right here we have we have also 3. So 3 divided by 3 in the middle, because we still have this division, equal to equal to 1. This is option option A. So a lot of students say, okay, mister, correct answer is option A, very easy challenge, and let's go to the next question. But then I ask them, how can you solve this challenge like that? What do you know about order of operations? How, how can you solve this challenge? It looked like a randomly approach. We just, you just solve this challenge absolutely randomly. You want to subtract, you do this. You want to subtract right here, you do this. And it turns into a big argument because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? And we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem because just agree with me it's really bad to solve this challenge absolutely randomly and for example you solve this challenge you start with subtraction you have one answer for example a yeah and if you start with this division in the middle you have for example option b and you write that you have two options and this is really weird thing in terms of math in the perspective of this in the perspective of this challenge because we need to know what is the correct order of operation and what is the correct approach and the next step is a correct answer but we need to know at first about a correct order of operation and for this question let's look for example at this PEMDAS order of operation this is the most popular order of operation in the world all uh, popular or the most popular internet libraries uh, solve every algebraic expression according to PEMDAS so how does this PEMDAS works maybe someone don't know about this PEMDAS order of operations of PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. So the first step, we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. The next step, exponents. The next step, multiplication division group. And the last step is addition subtraction. So right now, let's look closely. Parentheses, for example, if you have like expression inside parentheses, like 2 plus 2, 2 plus 3, yeah, we need to evaluate at first. The next step is exponents. For example, imagine we have like 3 cubes, 3 to the fourth power. We need to evaluate these, those type of expressions. And multiplication division group, this is our next step. We need to evaluate expressions where do we have multiplication division signs. And this is one common group. A lot of students say multiplication, now we need to multiply a lot of things right here. But obviously, this is one common group. And right now, the next thing, addition and subtraction part. This is our last step. Okay, so we know everything about this PEMDAS. So right now, let's solve this challenge according to PEMDAS. So 5, we have our question, 5 minus 2 divided by 5 minus minus two here is our question and right now let's scan what do we have right here we have subtraction and we have division this is really great because we don't have like parentheses we don't have exponents so basically we have subtraction right here and we have division right here and right now really interesting moment because we don't have addition we don't have multiplication we don't have exponents we don't have parentheses so we have only subtraction we have only division this is really great and right now the main moment what elements had the higher position? Of course, division. Subtraction had the lower position than division. So right now, we need to divide at first because division has the higher position than subtraction. Okay, really great. And right now, division we have right here. So we need to divide 2 divided by 5. So we have 5 minus 2 divided by 5. 
you need to know about decimal uh, approximation or you need to do uh, you need to know how can we divide and as a result we need to get we would get like a decimal answer so for this you can also write it as a fraction so you can also write it as 2 over 5 something like that and minus minus 2 and from this expression 2 divided by 5 you can also mm, do this in your head but you can also divide it in your calculator but this is like not a hard expression 2 divided by 5 this is equal to a uh, 0 0.4 Okay, we have it looks like 20 divided by 5 equal to 4, but right here we need to move this dot by one one position because we have like mm, 2, not 20. So we have 5 minus 0 0.4 and minus minus 2. So we complete this division part and right now very basic subtraction part because like we don't have like a complicated expression and obviously you do need this order of operation right now because this is very basic subtraction. So we have 5 minus 0 0.4 minus 2 which is equal to 5 minus 2, it's, it's better for us to subtract it first because we have 3 and 3 minus 0 0.4 equal to 2.6. And right now really interesting moment because we have completely, completely different answer. We have option C and we have before we had option A and it turns into a big argument. A lot of students like don't understand why we have right here A, right here we have we have option C and right now here's my explanation. Just look closely at this first interpretation. Basically, we have right here parentheses, we have right here subtraction, division, subtraction. And as I told before, subtraction is all the time after division. Okay, so basically we need to subtract after division. And right now, right here we subtract at first and then we divide. So basically this is a great solution with parentheses right here. So with parentheses you can do everything inside parentheses at first and doesn't matter. Uh, division, addition, multiplication, doesn't matter what we have inside parentheses. Parentheses give us a permission to do this thing at, at first. Okay, so first step we need to evaluate the expression inside, inside parentheses. So right here we have 5 minus 2 equal to 3. And we have 5 minus 2 equal to 3 and then division. So then in this case, division will have the higher higher position, the lower position than, than subtraction because subtraction is inside, inside parentheses. So here's our explanation about this first interpretation and the correct answer in this interpretation is option A. But in this case, uh, in this case, we're talking about parentheses right here. In our case, we don't have parentheses. So forget about this option A, forget about this option A. Our second interpretation, is it a correct solution? Of course, this is a correct solution because we sort, solve it according to a correct order of operation. In our case, this is PEMDAS order of operation. And basically, this is a very tricky question because, for example, if you plug in this question in your calculator, for example, you plug in this question 5 minus 2 divided by 5 minus 2 inside in your calculator. Some some calculators, you know, uh, work with problem as you type it in. So, for example, you plug in 5 minus 2 and calculators, uh, for example, give you 3. Yeah, and then calculator divide this three by five, and as a result, we have a completely wrong answer. And what we need to do in this situation, we need to mm, work with calculators where we can plug in the whole entire problem. For example, like a graphing calculator where you can plug in the whole problem, not like five minus two in the beginning, but the whole problem. And then a calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. Then a calculator can easily can easily solve this challenge uh, because calculator is smart enough to know that we have like subtraction, division, subtraction. We don't have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, addition, signs right here. So basically, a correct approach right here is the next. We need to plug in the whole entire problem in our calculator. Then division first, subtraction at second because your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. And you can easily check this answer. This is a very tricky moment because, for example, you're sitting on an exam and you'll be like, okay, let's check this question in calculator right here. So let's check it. So it turns into a big argument. A lot of students confused about it. A lot of students confused about this calculators right here. So you need to know about this about this order of operation okay so this is very important very important moment i hope you understand this explanation i hope you understand why pemdas is extremely important in this case because just imagine we have an expression and we solve the challenge absolutely randomly like that and we have like a wrong answer but you need to even have like parentheses you need to know that okay i have parentheses so pemdas uh, exponents multiplication so a lot of the things right here and you know the correct order because right here obviously whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer and it's really bad thing in terms of math when you solve the challenge with two different answers 
in terms of math one expression one correct answer and don't forget about this order of operation which helps us a lot to to solve the challenge absolutely absolutely correctly 2.6 this is 100 percent a correct answer according to this according to this PEMDAS. so i hope your answer is the same as mine i hope you also solve this challenge absolutely correct but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong for example you solve this challenge uh, like that this is a bad mistake but i hope you learn right now i hope you learn learn something new and i hope you understand why your correct answer is option c so thank you for your time thank you for your support see you in the next videos also write your thoughts down into the comment section about this challenge and have a great day